just say that one more time because I was talking. Okay. Um, we've been here about 20 years. I've been in the bee business about 33, 34 years. From when I was little, I was interested in bees. It was always intriguing to me. I went to a place, and there was an old gentleman that belonged to our church that had a barn full of equipment. And he said, why don't I go ahead and use this equipment and try and, and see if I can find some bees to put in it. And so I put an advertisement in the paper, and I found people that had bees in their house, and he wanted them gone. So I would I maybe ask him for 20 or $30, and I took the bees out and filled the hives up. So little by little, I started getting hives. care about it too much when I was younger actually. It was just he did it and I mean he took us around now and then and that was fun and put this once once he actually got to a point where he had his suits and everything, he would put those on us and we'd go around and look at the bees and it was fun but I was still kind of scared about being stung a whole lot so hold on just a minute those cows are coming out. I need to close the gate. I forgot about that. I thought they'd stay up there. We've been using a thing called Apigard, which is a thymol gel that we put on a little card, and it's sort of an um, organic type acid. And we did that up here, and we needed to probably do that again down there. And the other thing is that I did hear from a beekeeper that used white coconut oil on napkins, and that somehow affects the mites to kill the bee mites. So. One of my, well, two of my yards down there, we actually have them in like three places, but they're away from the orange groves in Florida. But two of those places, I did put um, a napkin with, with white coconut oil on it. And we're gonna, just, we're gonna just test that and see, and see whether or not, if it doesn't bother the mites, then we'll go back to the thymol or the, or the formic acid treatment. That one looks good actually. Oh, see the, oh, you see that mite right on top of it? Little red. Thing right there. That's a mite. That's what they look like. Stick real close. See, there's nothing on that one there. I told him I would give him a dollar for every sting he got. <laughs> and that, <laughs> the end of that day, he got six dollars. And that, that softened the blow a little bit. <laughs> How do I like it? Mm -hmm. it's, it's an interesting job. I like it. It's not. It's not very. It's not a lot of pressure. Most of the time, except right now when it's getting late in the year and they have to be done. The honey taken off and moved. Tasteful. But Daniel did real well. Yeah. And then we went to Florida and we had that other truck and you went with me and you got a chance to drive the truck all over the back fields yeah. and that made it interesting. So I did, I did sort of bribe him in and just try and make it interesting and fun. Mm -hmm. 